And we're live. Where's your beer? my mic there's my mic and there's my camera how's it going everybody comic night here welcome to the comic night um you got to turn the speaker off welcome to the comic night uh uh live stream claim soul um claim show i want to hear so feedback. glad i'm so glad you could join me welcome my squire yes uh, mr roger so coming, coming to help me again oh look at this you got a preview of mr roger Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. That's it. Hey, what's Welcome going on? Welcome to my house. How you guys doing? Everybody doing good? Doing good? Good evening. What's up? Mr. Baldassar? Mr. Baldassar? Mr. Cohen? Actual Dracula? How you doing? How you doing? Cool, cool. Wait for everybody to come in. Did you guys like the little... Uh, Helmet swinging thing. Did yeah, you see it? Cool. It was pretty cool, wasn't yeah, it? It was cool. I thought it was cool. There's another good video coming up. Oh yeah. It's gonna be even cooler. Even cooler. All right. If you've never been to the show, uh, what I do is I put up about a hundred, uh, two hundred comic books in one hour. My show is from eight o'clock until nine o'clock, maybe nine fifteen, depending how much fun we're having. Uh, tonight's show, we're gonna be doing the chain mail box. Uh, and I'm also going to reveal what the grand prize of the chain mail box is gonna be. Uh, spots will be typically they range from 25 to 30, 35. Uh, I have something coming up soon, which will be uh, quite a bit more expensive uh, because the book's value is actually uh, in and around $1,000. Ooh, so, uh, ooh, ooh, big buck. Definitely something to look forward to. Um, but anyway, uh, typically I keep uh, spots low, you know, 12 spots, uh, just to keep your chances of winning higher. And uh, if you don't win the grand prize, at least you open up a box. You know, yeah. you, you get a box in the mail. You get to open it up. The suspense, the excitement starts tingling. And you're like, oh, did I get the killer book? Did I get it? And uh, if you don't get the killer book, at least you get some cool books uh, coming your way. So uh, <clears throat> I got this. Thanks, Matt. You know, man, this guy shows up. You're Cindy so Mike, cool. Cindy Mike says you're here for me first. You second, <laughs> and uh, oh, you sorry, comic second, you last. So. Uh, I, I'm starting my own channel next week, guys. So uh, <laughs> Roger's going to the garage sales yeah. like, uh, oh man, like a flurry. He's just going everywhere. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Mr. Warlock. Welcome. Welcome, Peter. Hey, hey, what's up, Matthew? All right. So uh, I think we've uh, introduced ourselves yeah. enough. Yeah, we're good to go. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Burrito. Cheers. Okay, let's do this. Now that I'm out of the way, you could actually take a look at this. <clears throat> let's get it going. Uh, I did change something. So comics without a sticker price are three dollars now. Three dollars now, not five dollars anymore. Ooh. And prices are all in Canadian. <clears throat> First off, let's start the show with a little three dollar book, low grade Captain America 374. Three bucks, cool cover. Let's get that gone. I need some space. All right. <clears throat> Marvel Comics presents Weapon X issue number 75. Beautiful copy, five bucks. <clears throat> Marvel Comics presents Weapon X issue number 74. Five bucks. If you're interested in a book, claim the corresponding letter. What's up, Hydro Comics? Amazing Spider Man issue number one. Um, this is a uh, variant by, oh, I don't remember his name, but he does Batman. Oh, what's his name? I forgot. Near Mint, 10 bucks. If you're also a fan of uh, this Weapon X storyline, this is the kicker. This is the one that kicks it off. A uh, very fine copy of Weapon X. Uh, Marvel Comics presents number 72, and that's 10 bucks. 
I'm here, comic book champ. I'm hiding in the background. <laughs> Dracula. Playing. Where's your helper? If you weren't here, he just uh, he stuck his head in. Yeah. I don't know why. He, yeah, like yeah. we lost all of our followers as yeah, soon as did. as soon as Roger put his face on camera. Yeah, because I'm so good looking. Anyway. I need you. Yeah. Punisher Max, issue number 24. <clears throat> cool book. Doing that for five bucks. Tomb of Dracula, issue number 30. This has got a nice appearance of Blade. Get that glare out of the way, right? Oh, Dracula is going to get this one. Awesome cover. Dracula. It's a fine, fine, very fine copy, and it's $20. Prices are in Canadian. Is that Wesley Snipes? Could be. Blade. Blade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Wesley. Uh, Moon Knight Saga, five bucks. <clears throat> Moon Knight. Indies, uh, DM me for Indies, bud. Uh, here's uh, G.I. Joe, issue number 100. It's a very fine copy. Uh, I put it on the lower end of a very fine, but uh, for 12 bucks, pretty cool cover. Can't be the villains. 12 bucks. Here's Amazing Spider-Man number 370. Cool uh, black cat appearance. Three bucks. <clears throat> I got I got a, like two long boxes of indies. But I don't know if my audience is into it. Let me know if you guys want to see indies like uh, Image Comics, Dark Horse, um, stuff from maybe from 10 years ago until five years ago, like a lot of it too. Um, T-Bro takes three. T-Bro, a newcomer. Please uh, read the description. Uh, I have an email down there, but uh, if you're interested in uh, messaging me on Instagram. That's where I do most of my stuff. Uh, I actually just started Facebook last week. Um, I don't know how else to grow my channel, uh, but uh, Facebook seems like a good idea. So I went on Facebook and, um, you know, maybe maybe I'll, I'll go live on Facebook one day, but so far I'm just going to stick it to YouTube. I like the platform. I like the way I could put uh, videos in to, you know, uh, and I, I like the way I could uh, interact with uh with all my guests. Yeah, everyone loves indies. They all want it. They Everybody want wants indies, eh? 10, 13 covers. One <clears throat> suit edition. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Matt, I'll message you after. I got I got one. I got one. <laughs> T-Bro, I, mean, I talked to you the other day. How about Spawn? I uh, have Spawn set up for the next show. Uh, I talked to you on Instagram the other day. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know, but... <laughs> I'm sure you did. I talked to a lot of people on Instagram. I know I love Instagram. I think the community is so tight there. Uh, anyways, let's get back to the books. That's why we're all here. Share the love. Uh, very good copy of Tales of Suspense, issue number 89. Let's get that out of there so you can take a look at the book. As you saw, it was for $20. Very good. You have a Ranger sweater? A ranger sweater? Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah, <laughs> you are trashing you up. yeah I, I don't like the rangers at all, but yeah. whatever. With my payment, I want a t-shirt. <laughs> first the stickers, yeah. now the yeah. t-shirts. Holy! First, 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 he's got to buy a book first in order to get a free t-shirt. <laughs> no kidding. Here, you can buy this one. Immortal Hulk, uh, issue number 16. I love this cover. I think it's amazing. He's in a cemetery. What better way to Hulk out? I don't know. Looks like he's smoking one. Five bucks. Near mint. <clears throat> Give me a chant t shirts. You guys deserve them. <laughs> Not for anything. You guys deserve them. Uh, Amazing Spider Man, issue number 332. It's a near mint copy and it's $20. News stand. Adrian Baldessere. So I'm going to write A. 
Daredevil issue number 195. Uh, I believe it's a Canadian price variant. Uh, we're doing it for five bucks. Cool cover. Give me H. Want H? Yeah. Those Immortal Hulks uh, cooled off quite a bit. I had them for like 10 bucks before, but whatever. They didn't sell, so drop it down to five. Totally skip over eight. <clears throat> Shadow of the Bat, issue number one. First appearance of Azrazel Az or something, some guy. Some guy. <laughs> five bucks. It's not high grade. It's uh, not low grade either. I put it in a very fine range. That's just looking from cover. We'll say fine, just to keep myself safe. Keep myself safe. Issue of E. He needs to see it. He has it. Pull it up and show him mm -hmm. E. E. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, issue number eighty-nine. Uh, first appearance of the Melter. Or is it the first appearance? I'm not sure. Cool cover though. Look at Tony. Sam's in the house. Tony straight up melting. <clears throat> Sam. Sam's in the house. What's going on, bro? Here's my man. Here's my man. Okay. A very fine near mint copy of uh, Giant Size Dracula issue number four. Love that horror stuff. Very fine near mint. It's so hard to get these square bound books in high grade. Like literally almost impossible. There's a nice thick one. Very fine near mint, 55 bucks. Uh, Chris Summer, you ship to Canada. I do ship to Canada. I do. I'm in Canada. So prices are all in Canadian. Um, yeah. So in the description, you'll find uh, basically my shipping prices. If you can't see this because I cover it 24-7, <laughs> um, everything is in the description and how to contact me as well. Uh, I'm not too I, – I just started on Facebook, so I'm not too active on it, but I've been doing it on Instagram for a long time now and, and selling at conventions and stuff. So uh, here's a near mint copy of uh, X-Men number 205. Beautiful cover. Can't beat that. Pretty sure it's Barry Windsor Smith. Near mint, ten bucks. B and seven for Chris, the guy that you just talked to. Cool dude. If you're just jumping in now, uh, I said it was on the on the lower end of very fine for that GI Joe there. <clears throat> Uncanny X Men issue number two hundred and fifty-seven. Beautiful cover. Uh, it's the before Psylocke becomes Psylocke. Uh, near Mint, $15. Champ wants to know if you'll do E for 15 E for 15 Champ. Do I got to give you a t-shirt too? <laughs> e for 15 And then I need uh, number uh, A. A is not a number. I need, I need letter A. Okay. Letter A. Put 15 on that. Yep. Don't mess me up, Roger. Don't mess me up. I'm going to put 25 on it. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to send them stickers and T-shirts and, and hoodies, everything. <clears throat> I got a claim on number one from Adrian Baldessar. Warlock claimed Angel. Adrian got one. Oh. Uh, so Chris won A because Chris came first. Who came first? Chris did. Chris came first. first. Yeah. And Adrian Baldessar is one. That's why I put him in charge. Cool. Let's keep it going. We'll fill up the rack and then we'll reveal what the chainmail box grand prize is going to be. Uh, should be not even five minutes until I until I fill it up. Big reveal. Not huge, 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 huge reveal. Huge. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number one is a near mint copy and it's fifteen dollars. Prices are in Canadian. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to contact me. Uh, description in the just all my information is in the description below. Tell me you can take Canadian Tire Money. You'll, you'll accept it at par. Canadian Tire Money. At Here's par. the guys looking for indies. Five bucks. Image first, saga number one. 
five bucks. Unholy Union, uh, Incredible Hulk, The Darkness, Ghost Rider, Witchblade, and Doctor Strange. Have you ever seen this book before? I'm putting it out there for three dollars. City Mike got number seven. Everybody try to grab number seven. City Mike got. That's good. It's a high grade. Job, City Mike. Can't can't go wrong with Wolver Wolverine. Uh, nice cover. Uh, Iron Man. Uh, disassembled issue number 20. Disassembled is just the short storyline. Five bucks. Oh, Moon Knight. Uh, issue number nine. Three dollars. T Brow claims H. And the rack is full with one more. Replace H. <clears throat> Scarlet Redemption, part five. Uh, actually, this is part one. Let me get this tape off. What do you want? Uh, H. Chad told me to put 10 on the $15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm here for the reveal. Let's see for the pretty faces. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Hopefully the, the reveal, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Hopefully you're happy with the reveal. So Scarlet Redemption issue number, oh my God, issue number one. It's a story arc, part two, part three, part four, and part five. Okay, I need fifteen dollars. I need A, please, and D. A. Actual Dracula's got A and D, and D is Ryan. So there's A. That's A. There's actual Dracula. He got it first. And D. And there's D. Chain mailbox coming up. So I'll claim seven. Uh, Mr. Warlock. Warlock is one. Okay. That's a good stained glass scarlet um, storyline. A lot of speculation on her oh, wow. uh, on her first appearance and, uh, and a lot of stuff. What's well, not rock? Can I get info on G. Um Big line cats, the American. We got uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, a near mint copy for ten bucks. I can't remember the artist's name. Sorry, bud. Okay, I'm gonna reveal something to you guys that. Uh, just give me a second. Here comes the 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 big reveal. Big line cat claims G. Hold on. My mouse really sucks. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God, my mouse is so junk. Get a new mouse. I know. Oh, my God, I can't take this anymore. Thanks, G. How crazy was that? How crazy was that? Turn your volume off. <laughs> How'd you like that, Roger? It was good. It was awesome. How'd you like that? It looked like a Marvel uh, movie uh, setup. Did you like that? Yeah. What? That was awesome. I'll do a cheers to that. Okay. Now, now he's got the real beer. This is for you guys. All right, that's for you guys in my hands. So if you're ready to do the chain mill box, Roger, are you ready? I'm ready. So how are we doing this? We got to write people's names down or what? <clears throat> how we do it? The spots are open. 
claim 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, $30 each. Claim your spot, claim one, claim two, claim three. When we're full, I'll collect for it. And uh, Danny Bochu, okay, here we go. He's going to get crazy. So Danny's in. He's at five. Where did I put the uh, sand? Well, I put it here. Here, just, just fill no. it in here. Oh, Danny. Okay. Danny got number five. Ken Algary, nine. Ken Algary, at nine. Okay, you call him out to you. Rock, no, Rocky doesn't get. Warlock gets 12. Yeah, Warlock gets 12. Rocky gets seven. Yeah, Rocky gets seven. T Bro gets 11. T Bro. Yeah. Uh, actual actual Dracula three. gets three. Gazelle. Gazelle gets one. No, it gets one. Ryan Traversal gets four. Ryan gets four. Chris Sumner. Sumner gets, gets nine. nine. No, it's already taken. Oh, nine's taken? Yeah. Peter. No, nine is taken, Chris. Peter. Peter M and gets eight. eight. We get two, six, and ten left. Two, six, and ten. Two, six, and, and ten. ten. Turn the volume off. Capital gets six. Your comic champ. So now there's two and ten. So somebody wanted nine, and that, that was already taken. What do you have left? Song there. Ask Chris if he wants either two or ten. Chris gets seven. No, that's gone. Two oh, or ten. Chris. Two or ten. Two, two or ten. Or ten. Left. Two or ten. Okay, Chris gets ten. Chris gets ten. And there's one spot left. It's number two. Number two is the only one left. Nobody's down. I'll put it on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, very good. That's good. Michael, City Mike gets two. City Mike took two? Yeah. City Mike, you're number two. Wow, we're full. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think there's only one guy I haven't done business with there on that. Cool. Eh? I showed again, so everyone knows. Uh, T Bro, or maybe Chris Sumner, I haven't. Yeah. Peter M. Uh, yeah, if I haven't done business with you before, in the descriptions, my email, my Instagram, and my Facebook, please feel free, feel, uh, ugh, feel free to reach out uh, and um, send me an email or send me a DM, whatever. And uh, I'm gonna get as, soon as, as soon as this collect, as soon as we collect for this, you're going to get a beer already. Okay, go run. No, I'm not going to run. I'm okay. taking my time. Okay, so as soon as this is full, <laughs> okay, this is the way it works if you guys haven't done it yet. Uh, as soon as we get that paid up, uh in full uh what i'm going to do is get these boxes which all look identical okay i can't stress that enough if they look identical um what i do because the cgc book the cgc book doesn't fit in, inside a gemini mailer right uh what i do is i put a certificate inside one of them and i do that i do that live as well i put it inside live i tape it up and i make it look as, just exactly the same as these do i make them look all exactly the same then I put them all down and I shuffle them. I shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then I put them back on the board. You can actually watch this. I have it on Instagram and everything else. You're interrupting. And then I put them back on the on the rack and I number them. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to 12. Uh, and then what I do is I mail them all out to you. Okay? You get to, this is the fun part. You get to receive it in the mail. Uh, if you don't open up the win the winning grand prize crazy book. Uh, certificate that I'm gonna that I'm gonna I'm gonna send out to you uh, on my dollar no problem I'll send it straight to you uh, if you don't open up one of those you get four cool books and that's the chain mailbox boom done okay back on the rack let's keep riffing on Moon Knight <clears throat> here's a very fine copy of Werewolf by Night number thirty seven. Very fine, a hundred bucks. Roger, pay attention. Hey, they're always worried about my beer, and not about your comments. Marvel Spotlight issue number twenty-nine. This is a very fine copy, and it's sixty dollars. Boom! That's a nice book. I like that. 
It's a Jack Kirby cover. Not a lot of people know that. Near Mint's copy of uh, Moon Knight's issue number 15. $25. It's not a 9.8. I put it at a 9.2. Moon Knight issue number 29. Near Mint. Uh, 45 bucks. Love this. This Boom. Bill Sienkiewicz stuff. Crazy. Moon Knight issue number 30. Near Mint. I put it around 9.2. 30 bucks. Probably one of my favorite Bill Sienkiewicz covers. So cool. Oh my God. Kirby signature and demon number one. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. You're going to send that in, man? Did he sign it? Like, Yeah, he, he signed it on the first page. So like he posted it on Instagram. And uh, I don't know. I was the only one in the comments that's like, dude, don't don't sign that because you'll never be able to open it and take a look at his signature oh, again. Why are you gonna seal it in? A yeah, you won't be able to see it on the first page. Yeah. I don't know. You do with it. You do what you want with it. I know. Like I'm not on the on the high end of uh, of that opinion of not slabbing it, but yeah, that's me. Collectors do what collectors want, and that's that's the beauty of it. Uh, Moon Knight, Mark Spector, issue number 59, near mint, $18. Warlock wants to see seven again. For that black cover, not a single uh, breaking color. Nice. That looks good, actually. Nothing breaks color on this book. The rack is full. That's what she said. Warlock claim seven. I was just about to pour my beer. My rack is full. Cheers to everybody. Cheers. It's time for a Guinness. Giselle, Giselle claims D. Claims D. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head into high gear. I'm gonna take everything down. Well, should I take everything down? I'm gonna take a few. I'm gonna take a few down. Chance drinking this as well. This is good, good boy. Good boy. Here's the last issue of uh, Mark Spector Moon Knight, issue number 60. Near Mint, $18. A very fine copy of Swamp Thing number 67. Uh, basically, the preview of Hellblazer. Very fine, $15. A very fine near mint copy of Uncanny X Men 173. Very fine, fifteen dollars. Love that cover, it's so cool. Ken Alaguer claims, huh. yeah, amazing. That's a sweet book, man. Good pickup. Which one is this? The last issue of uh, Mark Spector. Midnight. Punisher War Journal issue number two. Eight dollars? Seriously? I'm gonna put a five dollar on this. Near mint. T Brow claims D.
It's a very fine copy of uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 328. Very fine, $15. Awesome Todd McFarlane stock. T-Brow playing C. Hellstrom issue number one. I actually watched like a few episodes of this. I thought it was pretty good. Nobody's talking about it, but that was a great show. Well, for the few episodes that I actually did see. Five bucks. Adrian Baldessier claims five. Nice pickup, Age. Here's a Canadian price variant of Daredevil. Pete's is in the house. Issue number 200. 231, very fine copy. 15 bucks. Uh, let Gates know that the boxes are all done. Boxes are done, bro. Tell me, missed out. Oh. Missed out. They sold out. <clears throat> How much for a box? 30 bucks? There were 30 bucks each, 12 boxes. I like to keep it at 12 because you actually have a good chance of winning other than doing like 20 or 25. Uh, Marvel Team Up, uh, issue number 144. Going on that Moon Knight run, uh, near mint, $8. Big Lion Cat, clean seven. Big Lion Cat. Oh, and if you missed it, this is what the grand prize is. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Can't get rid of these glares. I got to hold it like this. Okay, cool. <clears throat> In two weeks. I'll do another one. Might be three books on that one, but we'll see. City Mike Flames B. Here's Grifter issue number one from the New 52. Doing that for five. Prices are all in Canadian. Captain America number 396, three bucks. Haven't been putting up any $3 books. Uh, Three dollar books are going to come in huge, I would say soon. Hopefully, throwing away all my keys here. This is a book that's like supremely under the radar. Um, this is the last issue of Garth Ennis's Max Run, The Punisher Max. Uh, last issue, Ken uh, Ken Lashley does the artwork in it as well. Um, there's five stories in it. Near Mint, fifteen bucks. Champ wants to know what your Moon Knight issue is on your shelf over here. This one here? Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, signed by Bill Sienkiewicz. Uh, it's issue number one. It's a 9.2, and he actually did a, um, what do they call that? I don't know. He did a sketch on it. They call it something. I don't care. A remark. <laughs> a remark. A remark. I got it for a steal, so Adrian claims seven. X-Men number, number 186. It's a near mint copy for $8. Near mint copy of uh, Uncanny X-Men 172. 15 bucks. Incredible Hulk. Cool cover. Issue number 45. Yeah, it is. Pretty Three cool. bucks. See Bruce Banner in the background, somebody's arm that just died. Moon Knight issue number 50, five bucks. What was that? Um, what was that? No. How big line cat issue 231. Issue number 231. Danny claims beat. Danny. That's uh, Dantio. Here's Moon Knight, uh, issue number five from Warren Ellis and the Clan Shelby's uh, run. This is an awesome issue where he like runs up and down the stairs, destroying everybody. As you can see in the little preview there. Five bucks. And number two for Danny. <clears throat> Marvel Comics presents Weapon X, uh, issue number 73. All Barry Windsor Smith stuff. 
all extremely cool and uh, under undervalued in my eyes. Near mints, 12 bucks. I should go from this side from now on. Well, that's your bad side, man. I wouldn't do that. Is it my bad side? <laughs> Dude, I'm ugly everywhere. <laughs> Marvel Comics presents a Weapon X84. Probably my favorite cover. I don't know. These they're all pretty amazing. Near mint's ten bucks. Uncanny X Men number two hundred and ninety seven. Three bucks. The rack is full. That means I get to have a sip. Cheers, boys. And ladies. Oh, you can hear that, eh? Mm. Sure that oh, yeah. Sounds good. This has gone unclaimed. Crazy. Was a Daredevil a Canadian price variant? Yeah. Yes. I think it was 60 cents. Um, what does it say? It should be big. It, it was 95 cents. 95 cents. <clears throat> 95 cents. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I meant to get back to you. You actually DM me. Um, I've been so busy. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, no excuses. I'll get back to you. Okay. At Chris some point. Sumner claim seven. <clears throat> is oh, wait, that, is that from before? No, I think that was from before, right? No. Oh yeah. So the seven one was before. Yeah. I think he was late on that. Uh, Moon Knight twenty nine nine point two. I wouldn't put it any higher than that. That black cover, couple. Uh, I think there might be one or two breaking colors. Spine ticks there. Yeah, I see one. It's it's that black cover, right? It's hard to uh, hard to beat. What's a blind pull? Somebody's asking if there's any blind pulls. Blind pulls? I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know what a blind. What's a blind pull? I have no idea. I it was Maybe I pulled something from the book. From a box, maybe. <clears throat> All right, let's clear the clear the board. If you're watching this uh, in the future, uh, please feel free to send me a DM. All my information is in the description below. Bam. Indeed. So who got seven? The original one claimed seven was Gazelle. Yeah. Gazelle was the one that got seven. Oh shit. What was that? I think it was a it was a three dollar book. No, no, it's this one over here. It was picked early because they were all fighting over it. Was it? Yeah. It's gone though, right? Yeah, it was Moon Knight. Yeah, that's right. No, they still want seven. I don't know. I'm just gonna put I think this was on seven. Yeah, there was a seven. I think this yeah. was on seven. I think they won it. Oh. Is that what you wanted, Chris? Well, who claimed it first? Gazelle? Can you, can you check, Raj? Uh, Gazelle was the original seven. And Gazelle was the some, original yeah, seven? Yeah, this was it right here. The original seven. And that's why everyone wanted this book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm you mean sure. this one? Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, Gazelle got seven, and then uh, Chris wanted it, T-Bro wanted it. All we could do is what we see on our feed, so yeah. we follow that. Okay. Whichever comes first. Got no make, favoritism. We're going to make some room for $3 books, but I'll fly through them. <clears throat> okay. It's going to be a bunch of X-Men uh, $3 books. X-Men number 246 featuring uh, Master Mold. Sorry, t bro was talking about the X-Men. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? He wants yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. Got it. You got, got it. it. Uh, X-Men 247, three bucks. X-Men 243, three dollars. 
Bam. Excellent, excellent. The price is range. I mean, the, the grades range, but for three bucks, fuck. What can you, what can you do? Uh, X Men two ninety nine, three bucks. Hard book you never see. Near mint. Oh man, fifteen bucks, featuring Electro. Pretty cool. Fifteen dollars. Bronze Age man, I love putting up Bronze Age. <clears throat> Here's a Marvel premiere issue number 22 near mint copy $40 Punisher issue number 40 three bucks Punisher max number 60 three bucks and out here, claim C and D. Wolverine issue number four, near mint. First appearance of Bloodsport and this uh, rough house, near mint, 15 bucks. Chris Sumner takes A and B. First appearance of Scarecrow, Dead of Night, number 11. Fine, very fine, $30. This is also the final issue of Dead of Night, number 11. How is Scarecrow a, a superhero? No idea, but he's in DC. <laughs> he's in DC too, so <laughs> pretty popular, I guess. Pretty popular. Daredevil, uh, issue number 312, $3. Daredevil, these David Mack covers. Just carry a match with you. Sir. Killer. <laughs> um, issue number 53, five buck, uh, three dollars. <throat> Monsters Unleashed, Colin Bunn, Steve McNiven. Cool storyline. You got uh, Miles Morales there. Fing Fang Foom, how can you go wrong? Five bucks. Scarecrow is a hero. And the Captain America and Ghost Rider and Rogue. Huh? Captain America Rogue. <sighs> and all you need is a match and then you beat the guy. <laughs> 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 Wolverine would be easy. Just smoking a cigar and just throw it at Scarecrow. No problem. No problem. Wolverine issue number 50. Uh, five bucks. So we got 50. Actually, I should do these together. So that's 50, 51, 52, and 53. Beautiful Simone, Simone Bianchi covers. Uh, an epic storyline. $5 each. You okay, Roger? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Warlock, uh, what's 55? I don't know. I don't know. Question mark, I oh, I don't have 55. He's asking if I have issue number 55, I guess. Yeah. No. Because that ends at 53. Uh, flashback. X-Men issue number one. Look at that Magneto. Yeah, here Just four. losing it. Nah, it's a flashback. It's like a, a different take on on the storyline. You're meant eight dollars. Sitting white claim seven. Claim seven? A little bit of Dark Horse, Terminator, issue number one, five bucks. Throwing these away, <laughs> five dollars. Uh, they're worth more, I think. Uh, Terminator, issue number two. So it's one of two and two of two. Five dollars each. T-Bro takes number one. Very good, very good, very good. 
I think this is a first cover appearance of Echo. Near Mint, $20. Daredevil issue number 10. Uh, I should put this here. Well, well, sorry, seven, guys. Everyone takes seven. Like, that's uh, like your number one spot. Lucky number seven. Like, that's the one that keeps going. Seven. Who's got number seven on the uh, the box? On your, uh... <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got number seven? Rocky. Rocky's got number seven. Uh, Marvel Spotlight's uh, number two. So this is uh, Captain Marvel. This is volume two of Marvel Spotlight. Nearman's copy, 10 bucks. Donsky. The rack is full. Oh, we should do we should do some trivia. So what's your question? Where's my phone? Okay, trivia coming up. What are we getting? What's the price? For 15% off. How about a t you have any t-shirts? No. <laughs> I only have this one. Oh, and I got my wife one. Oh, yeah? It was like I a, it was like a two-for-one. I'm one. getting merch for my uh, company. My wife's making all kinds of things. Yeah? Right I'm getting masks, hats, shirts, Come jackets. On. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to load you up. No, you're not yeah. going to do anything. Okay, where did I put that? Um... Merch. 15%? Is that what we're doing? 15 Shit, where did I put those questions? Are you kidding me? Oh. Roger. So Rick said that that porn file you have. My phone is just overload, overloaded with porn. No, not fisting. Not Iron Fist. Who is Batman? Yeah, use the product. <laughs> oh, okay. What's my favorite number? <laughs> Watch all the numbers come up. Watch. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, think of something. Think of something quick. Yeah, here we go. There, here come the numbers. They're all flying. <laughs> um, what is uh, what is um, what's Gambit's real name? Fifteen percent okay, off. That's the question. Look at all the numbers. Fifteen percent off. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> <laughs> what's all the numbers? <laughs> that's what my favorite number was. <laughs> there's uh, like a hundred of them. Batman. Batman's my favorite number. <laughs> what's what's uh, what's Gambit's uh, <laughs> real name? Remy LeBeau, is that it? Is that correct? Remy LeBeau is, is right. It, or Batman. It's Remy, Remy LeBeau. LeBeau. So, uh, Who got it first? Champ. Champ. Yeah. Champ hasn't even bought anything yet. Yeah, he did. He, he did? Something, yeah. yeah. Champ. My man. It. Oh, and I gave him a steal on it, right? You know, I had it for $20, and he did it for yeah, 15. Uh, 15. He's already got a deal. Plus, Plus look at this. Look at camp. this. <laughs> I like the answer Batman, though. That's my favorite answer. <laughs> what number is Roger thinking? Batman. I like turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everything down. Uh, Champ's going to buy more because now he's got the 15%. Okay, well, channel. get 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 the Marvel <laughs> premiere in issue number 22. Yeah. Dude, it's yeah. like legit near mint. You get that graded, it's coming back 9.4 I, I like at least. Yeah, bam, buy it, Jim. Bronze Age 9.4s? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Somebody knew my middle name. They should get that right. No. <laughs> Just do it, Bob. Just do it, Bob. Oh yeah, Sam got two fifteens. Remember? Yeah, remember when Sam? Yeah, remember like two weeks ago when Sam got Sam got thirty percent off. Holy shit! I just hose myself when I do this. Next trivia question is like, champ, you're not winning. There's no way. No, Sam. One one fifteen percent off each. That's it. Echo cover, I'll take. That's what champ wants. He wants it. Yep. Done. Done, champ. Done, champ. I got you. Sure. She's hot. New Mutants, issue number 82. Near Mint. Yeah, Near Mint. These are beautiful. Uh, three bucks. Issue number 83, three bucks. I should leave those up a little bit longer. Issue number 80, three bucks. Boom, you're throwing 
Well, you're throwing them all. New Mutants issue number 79, three bucks. Are we done with that? Uh, very good fine copy of Invincible Iron Man issue number 10 featuring the Mandarin. <laughs> you guys know the 10 rings are coming. The 10 rings are coming. Very good fine, uh, $30. Uh, here's Uncanny X Force issue number two. This was a fantastic wow. storyline. Oh, that was like back when I was actually reading a lot of comic books, and my pull list was like 20 titles. Yeah, five bucks. Sam Rock about to F. Uh, Punisher issue number two. This was a cool story. Uh, Edmondson. Edmondson did a lot of good indie books. Maybe not a lot, but he did one about a sniper. In Paris, I don't know if you guys read it. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was killer. Uh, Three dollars each. Give me a. Oh, you got two copies? Are they the exact same? No, they're different. No. They're totally different, Rod. No, they look exactly the same. Oh, uh, here's number four. That's two, three, and four. Three dollars each. Okay, all three of them look exactly the same. Well, it's a, a little bit. It's a similar style, but they're freaking cool. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> Here's a fine copy of Captain Marvel issue number four. Shout out to all my Submariner fans. Namor's a badass. He was lifting, so like when Superman was jumping tall buildings, <laughs> Submariner was flying and pulling like Nazi submarines out of the ocean. Damn, that's like cool. that's the real guy. That's the real hero right there. Or he's just a dick. 12 bucks. Uh, the new Dark Avengers, issue number 18. Incredible cover. Pretty cool. Normie. $3. Jeff takes five. He's uh, Avengers 11. Wolvie. $3. More five? Yeah. Avengers. High Evolutionary is like one of the coolest designed uh, villains that there is in Marvel. I don't care. That's just the way I feel. $3. Fine, very fine copy of Tales to Astonish, issue number 65. You got some store stamps on there. Um, nonetheless, beautiful Silver Age book. Fine, very fine, $60. You got PTSD. Who's got PTSD? Yeah, your buddy there, the the green guy that pulls submarines out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> the recent Namor one shot explains he has PTSD from World War Two. <laughs> Shit, I I have that too. I know. Okay. ADHD. All of PTSD, it. All of it. He's got it all. Man. Just every letter in the alphabet. You can make just give me some Xanax. Uh, X Men issue number one hundred forty three, signed by Terry Austin on the first page, near mint copy. Thirty-five dollars. Merry Christmas. Who signed? Like, did you? Uh, Terry Austin. Yeah. I actually bought it in a collection and it came signed. H. And it's not uh, sealed to you to look at. It. You can look at it. You can. It's not slapped. <laughs> Imagine if it was Jack Kirby. Yeah. On a Thor cover, in the, on a Journey into Mystery cover. Number one. <laughs> That'd be beautiful. Amazing Fantasy. Oh, Amazing Fantasy 15, signed by Jack Kirby. <laughs> On the second page. God damn. <laughs> Did the cover. Uh, Avengers number 89, uh, very fine. No, sorry. Fine, very fine, $30. I just want to say thanks for everybody joining me tonight. Um, I might be doing this on Facebook in two weeks. I don't know. I just went on Facebook recently, and I don't know. Just trying, just trying to put it out there. So um, you're gonna go on uh, TikTok. TikTok. We're, we're putting Sandy TikTok. on TikTok next week. What else is there? No, 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 Anything? I don't know. On you Twitter? On Can TikTok? we go live on Twitter? No. We'll try. I don't know. Can we go live on Plenty we'll of Fish? Right between those two girls with the big job. I mean, I might, I might use a girlfriend. Plenty of Fish might, might accept me. I don't know. <laughs> Uncanny X Men issue number one hundred and seventy. Uh, near mint copy, ten bucks. 
plenty of fish. That's a fucking dating website. <laughs> Stay on YouTube. Uh, only. Yeah, only. <laughs> Go on like some porn channel, yeah. porn hub or okay. something. Sam, only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me and Roger will have an OnlyFans. We'll put comic books where comics don't belong. Yeah. No, we can't do that to them. They're too, the they're too precious. Get, though, because you did the porn, and this guy's on Only, so he's got to be good, whatever he's doing. You're going to make lots of money. <laughs> oh, my God. OnlyFans. I'm going to paint Roger on OnlyFans. You guys want to watch? It's $15 for the video. Fuck no. Body paint, baby. No, thank you. Captain America and the Falcon, one ninety one, uh, five dollars. Champ is gonna be all over this, so claim it before he does. Oh, no more room. Okay, let's get uh, let's get these punishes out. Now I'll just put one book. Shogun Warriors issue number one. Shogun. Dun dun dun. You know what comes after the hype of uh, of Star Wars? So after Star Wars hype is over, let me take that OnlyFans off the off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so after Star Wars, you know what's coming? These mech, this mech thing. <laughs> I got a feeling. I got a feeling. What Shogun is gonna pop? Yeah, all the mech warrior things yeah. i think they're gonna go crazy man star wars is like that sci-fi thing after sci-fi i would love for it to go into a horror type of thing but um i think it's gonna go mech <laughs> roger is worth far more yeah, than fifteen dollars a sub. I, mean, I wouldn't do anything less than what eighteen dollars. <laughs> Roger's selling fifteen dollars subs. <laughs> What's a sub? I don't know. With <laughs> bacon? Oh no. <laughs> no, it's like a subscription. Oh, subscription. No, per video. Yeah. Per video. No, you gotta charge more than that, man. Roger, you gotta grow your hair long. You could like color it purple. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Am I taking down claims or we're good? <clears throat> uh, no claims right now. We're good. Like I said, High Evolutionary, beautiful. Avengers. Uh, annual 17, near mint, $8. Savage Wolverine 1, number 1, 5 bucks. A very fine near mint copy of Spider-Man 2099, issue number 1, 10 bucks. Invincible Iron Man, uh, World's Most Wanted, issue number eight and nine, three dollars each. <clears throat> Justice League X, this is an amalgam, five bucks. The boxes, the, the comments are falling. Because you what? You emptied them out? You're doing good. Almost at the end of it. Tells to, tells to Astonish if issue number 91 featuring... Tells to Astonish number 15. Or oh, that's Amazing Fantasy. Amazing Fantasy 15. Roger's still getting the hang of it. I don't blame him. <laughs> um, Abomination. Fine copy, 60 bucks. Uh, Champ wants you to reduce the price on the damaged book. Which damaged book? I don't know. They didn't no, fall. No. They were just sliding down the box the way they like to. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Incredible Hulk, one ninety six, three dollars. 
city might want to know if that's the first abomination. No, it's not. What's the first abomination? I don't know. Double, double check. It might be abomination. He's not, he was actually in that movie with um, Edward Norton at the end. That was a great movie. Uh, Submariner Hulk tells to astonish issue number 98 is a very good copy. $15. Very good. Iron Man, three bucks. <clears throat> Fantastic Four, issue number 82. Very fine. Good grade on Silver Age. Very fine. 60 bucks. Featuring the Inhumans. Look at that Black Bolt. Legendary. Iron Man, issue number 12, $3, fighting Namor. Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk, uh, number 19. Spider Man, $3. Number eight, is up for block? $3. That's chance. Man, man, we got a few of them here, Sandy. Robocop, yeah. number five, $3. Danny Brochu, he's got number five. Bam, that's funny. Good call. Good call, Danny. Good call, me, Danny. Me and Danny have the same taste. Okay. Uh, here's a near mint copy of issue uh, 92 of Master of Kung Fu. Eight bucks. Putting up three of them. Okay, then we've got uh, Tigro A. There's a near mint copy of Master of Kung Fu, issue number 91. Gang War! So that's uh, 91, 92. Adrian claims eight. And this number one. is number 90. Uh, Master of Kung Fu, issue number 90, near mint, $8. Adrian Baldessera, number one. Number one? Yeah. First appearance of uh, the Max, I believe. Five bucks. Darker image, number one. Adrian Baldessera, number two and number three. Oh. One, two, and three, Adrian. One, two, and three. Holy shit. Killing it. Sandman casting like last week. Did you see that? This is a um, Sam Keith cover of Sandman Universe, issue number one from DC Vertigo. Five bucks. Superman, Man of Steel, number 75. That's the first Superman. What an homage. Ever. I've never seen a Superman put up from me. Homage. Yeah, I don't put up man, much Superman. Ever. Ever, ever, never. Miracle Man, issue number one. You never see me put up Miracle Man either. <laughs> Times are changing. Like a, Five bucks. Old, old Superman? Something. I don't know. I can move that three to uh, number eight, please, because you just had three up there. What happened? And somebody's claiming three. Yeah, You're getting confused? Move, yeah, move to eight. So uh, Giselle claims two. <clears throat> okay, now you know the night's near an end when my beer is done. <clears throat> Daredevil issue number 52, $3. I need number one, and what print Superman is 75? Number one? Yeah. And what print is Superman 75? I don't know what that means. Uh, Superman 75 is sold. I think uh, Giselle got it. Yeah. Giselle. <clears throat> Wolverine, issue number yeah, 15. Number 75. Yeah. $3. Dollars. Ugh, I don't know where to put these. Kind of running out. Should I start over? 
Okay, it's okay. I gotta go into uh, inside number one. Uh, no, Wolverine uh, issue number forty-two, low grade, uh, three dollars. Key brow number five. Just fill it up and then uh, clear the board. Give me number five. Here's uh, issue number forty-one. I believe it's second print because the Wolverine is in gold. Three dollars. Thank you, Warlock. For number not five. Confusing. Yeah, number five. Don't confuse Roger. <laughs> Roger is the captain of my, my ship. He is my liege. I am easily confused. I am the comic knight, and he is my liege. <laughs> Together, we go on journeys across the land and collect comic books everywhere. I will unsheathe <laughs> all of my collectibles for you. From Asgard. On this journey, where we will defend against lowballers. <laughs> Wolverine versus uh, the Yakuza, issue number 32, $3. Okay, the board's full. You got one more set in you because we're after 9 o'clock. We're five after Are eight. we after 9? Yeah. We're five after 9. We've got maybe five minutes left. <clears throat> Danny Brochu claims number five. Hey, do you guys want to watch that video again? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to watch the video again? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, they do. Let me know. Okay, Say yes or no. Yeah, number five, please. Number five. Yeah. Number five. And Tigra wants the Wolverines too. You know the video where I unveiled the grand prize? Let me know if you want to watch it again. I'll play what, it. What are the Wolverines? He wants the Tigra wants the Wolverines. The Wolverines are gone. Well, there's this one, this one. He said he wants the Wolverines. He wants the Wolverines. Yeah. There's three. So if he wants them, then there's three. Later. Ask him. Yeah. D bro. D bro. Bro. Yeah, give them to me. He said he wanted the Wolverines. <laughs> no. Yeah, so T Bro wants that Wolverines. The price to the Chainwell box is right here. Moon Knight number one, nine point four. Oh not D. Which one was D? Was this the one D? The last one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had a feeling, but <laughs> so Warlock says, "Why don't you just tell us what the prize is?" I told him already. Right. He says, "This is Moon Knight number one, nine point Show him again. Show him. You got to show him. No, it's okay. Okay. A uh, very good copy of the Invincible Iron Man fighting the Incredible Hulk. This is issue number nine. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. But it's a very good copy, so it's not very high. It's not high grade. Twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Spirits of Vengeance, number 11, $3. <clears throat> Punisher Annual, number one. Actually, it's Punisher Max Annual, number one, uh, $5. Number three is taken, people. I want another beer, oh, but we're almost done. How many beers you had? One or two? Enough. Enough? Enough. Mike, see, Mike wants to know Spirit of Vengeance 6 or 13. That's that and, one that you just took. Okay, and Sam Rock wants to take a look at number five. Closer look. Sure. <clears throat> no. it's beer of vengeance six or thirteen it was number 11. number 11 for spirits spirit of vengeance and number five a closer look i mean i could take it out for you uh i could do it on uh i could do it on instagram bro i'll take a video of it if you want me to flip through it I figure I could just save some time. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. <clears throat> Uncanny Avengers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
you, you dying over there or what? <laughs> Uncanny X Men 145. Uncanny Avenger. Doom! Damn. Near mint, 15 bucks. Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 14. Oh. Black Bolt, Star Lord. Chris Pratt. <laughs> uh, $3. <clears throat> Can Here's you a, do 20 on number 5 For Sam Rock Deal Give me the marker 20. Tales of Suspense Issue number 78 Good It was a good copy for 15 bucks How's that camera working? I bought a new camera for you guys Figure it's uh it's worth it because we're looking at grades, right? <clears throat> Bald Desire claims E. Thunderbolts issue number one thirty six. How did Thunderbolts get to issue one thirty six? Three dollars. Wait, they should have been canceled after the first season. Or you lost C. Put C back up. Yeah, the rack is losing. The rack is losing it. Nearman's copy of Marvel Spotlight issue number twenty-five. Um, Sinbad, if you're into it. Nearman, twelve bucks. X Men twenty ninety-nine. Five bucks. Conan the Barbarian, three dollars. K or B. Making fun of my camera. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, where, where is the appreciation? Five and six for T Bra, but five's gone, so it must be six. Give me six. Number six? Yep. <clears throat> uh, Tail 78 price and grade. Good. $15. And he's got his 15% discount. So, Where's that? Champ. Come on, champ. You know you want it. Okay. More? More. I know we're getting late. So champ okay. wants it. We're already so way past our... Uh, Okay, last one. We're past our limit. Pass me the iron hand for change. Yeah, do another one. Let me uh, pull out some better stuff that I have coming. Okay, here comes um, good stuff. Captain America 46, fine copy, $10. I'm going to put this show on the road. $3, Green Lantern. Oh my god, I'm brutal. Wolverine number 34, $3. Wolverine number 30, $3. Yeah, lightning round. Here we go. Speed it up. Uh, Incredible Hulk, 389, five bucks. Screw that. Uh, Avengers number 44, Illuminati, five bucks. X Factor number 25, five bucks. Jeez, clean. Uh, Deadpool Avengers number one, five bucks. Eight. Thanos. No Thanos. Thanos number five and six, three dollars each. What do you want? G and H. <clears throat> Diecast uh, Fantastic Four issue number three hundred and fifty-eight. Three dollars. Oh, oh, Daredevil, uh, two hundred and sixteen. Three dollars. I need A and eight. A, A first. A, yeah, and then eight. It's Danny. Daredevil number three hundred and nine. Three dollars. Uh, we've got these Red Wolf. Did uh, you give me H? Yeah, okay. So A and H. That was H. Red Wolf number eight. 
in number nine. Number nine is the first appearance of Lobo. Very fine near mint, very fine near mint, 25, 30. I need number five. H was won by Danny. H was won by Danny. Danny, 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 Danny. Yeah, Danny came up first. Yep. And H was this one, right? Yeah. What was that? The Deadpool, Deadpool. Avengers. Okay. I'm out of books. Okay. So we good? Yeah. Good night, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, thank you, Roger, my liege, my my you know my little <laughs> apprentice or whatever. Yeah. He still calls Amazing Fantasy fifteen <laughs> tells to astonish, but whatever. What whatever. are you gonna do? It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I had, um, a, I had a good time. I had a good beer. <clears throat> Guys, we sold out the chainmail box. Yeah. Uh, I don't even have to post it on Instagram, but I'm still going to post that incredible video. I'm going to leave you off with that incredible video uh, just to let you watch it because when I got it from uh, from the guy that I um, – anyways, when I got it from him, my jaw was on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be revealing the chainmail box grand prize the exact same way that you saw it tonight every single time that I go live. We're going to be doing the chain mailbox every single uh, live stream. I'm doing it once every two weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know I would if I was a collector, and that's why I introduced it to everybody. Uh, I, I love the, the feeling, the excitement of getting something mailed to you, opening it up, and uh, finding out if it's actually worth more than 200 bucks yeah. or just like whatever, right? Yeah. Um, thank you. And uh, here, let me just load it up for you. Oh, again. yeah, I'm going to show it one more time. Yeah, I'm going to show it one more time. It was yeah, so man. good. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. It needs another room. Love you guys. Take care, guys. We'll see night. you soon.